Hello. Test. Oh. Test. Test. Hello again. Skylight, sky systems, day systems, making nice skies, no clouds, can make nice architectural renders. In 3D Studio Max, for example, here's a render that I just did out simple, not much on the material, and there's the skylight, the, the simulation of the sky here. You've probably seen it on quite a lot of architectural renders. It's very simple to set up, and here it is in the viewport um, with the sky system. Okay, so there you go. Um, very simple, you just add a daylight, <coughs> then you make sure it's got the the physical physical sky on your environment map here, and then it will render out nice images like so. Um, and you know it reacts to the time when you go to the motion, which is very good. It's really amazing. You can also get the location as well. So that's basically in Max. Make sure you've got the the mental ray set up for this. Yep, yeah? because that's how we do it. So we make sure it's the assign render as mental ray. Okay, so there's 3D Studio Max. Relatively easy to do that. Blender. Okay, it is possible, and it is also, good news, it's possible in the Cycles renderer. Um, the Blender render, you can do it with the Sun system, but it's not going to make the results you want, like in 3D Studio Max, the Mental Array renderer, so <coughs> do it in Cycles. Um, so, okay, here's the London scene again, my sort of scene that I did for a piece of artwork that I made. And we're going to set up a sky system in Blender. Um, so go to the node editor here, make sure it's the node editor, um, which is here, okay. And then in this box we're going to go to world, um, and then we're going to use nodes and add a new world. So instantaneously it makes this, then we go to add texture, and all we need to do is add a <coughs> sky texture. Link that to that. And nothing happens because you uh, need to go to viewport shading rendered. And instantaneously, we've got a very similar system to what we had in Max. And the sun is right up there, okay? Right above the, the thing. We can increase the strength of the background. So that kind of simulates the light there a bit. Um, this trackball is a nice effect because the trackball, we can simulate the sun as it goes down into the horizon, like a nice sunset there, uh, like so. So we've got a lovely London summer evening scene. We can increase the strength of that a bit, push the ball down. It's a bit tricky to do this sometimes. Push it down a bit more, decrease the strength. Like so, so very simple to set up in both programs. So that's 3D Studio Max. Remember the daylight system, mental ray renderer, and Blender. You're using the nodes, sky texture, linked to world background and world outputs. Obviously, you can tweak away as much as you like to make your perfect scene. Um, but you know, here is just the the basic setup. Okay, very good. Um, any comments, questions, please ask. And isn't it great that Blender does a sky system similar to 3D Studio Max? It, this program, free program, always amazes me. Okay, I'll go now. Speak soon. <laughs> Bye.